I actually lived in an area called Millersburg, but it's so small that it doesn't have a post office. Emma Smith is a third year medical student at UMKC School of Medicine. Post grad, she wants to serve those small town communities that helped raise her. You really do experience during your training um, the differences between urban and rural care, and you become passionate about those communities that you train with and you learn with and you grew with. According to the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services, people who live in rural areas generally have less access to adequate health care than urban cities. Fewer hospitals and specialty doctors mean less preventative care and longer response times. You have to go like different to different states or new, another county just to get better like opinions and better things like that. My mom, she has vision problem impairment, so I would have to make sure I take off work to be able to take her down there and stuff like that. It just adds to the stress. Right, and also with like the gas prices and everything else on top of that. To make matters worse, from 2014 to 2020, a total of 15 Missouri hospitals have closed, 10 of those in rural counties. We also found out during this interview, several OBGYN programs have recently closed in rural hospitals near St. Joe. That's the importance of this school to basically grow our own. Dr. Davin Turner is the associate dean of the UMKC satellite campus here. He's also been a doctor in the area for over 20 years and has felt the impact of physician shortages. It does put strain on you as a primary care physician and even as the specialist. The specialists we have uh, have to see large volume of patients to just so that they have access. The good news is groundbreakings like this and future generations like Emma give people in rural communities hope. She's living proof that investing in growing your own people pays off. Rural Missouri is, is my home. Jian Kim, KISS HB 41 News.